Philip Schultz is a 17-year-old Danish hockey player. In June, he hopes to be drafted by the National Hockey League. The NHL is considered the biggest ice hockey league in the world. I love to play hockey because you get so much adrenaline. I like the feeling when you hit somebody and maybe you can see them be a little bit hurt. It sounds like that I'm a psycho, but that's when when I hit somebody in the in the board or something, a big hit. It's get then you get that adrenaline boost in your in your body. And that's so nice of a feeling. Yeah. He plays in the Danish Hockey League and for the Danish under-20 national team. To pursue a career in the NHL, Philip needs to be drafted first. Getting drafted to the NHL is a goal for many young hockey players, but it's a very difficult task. The draft happens at an event in Dallas in late June. This year, 217 promising players will be selected to join teams in the NHL. Before the draft, scouts watch and rank the most talented players according to skills. Once the season comes to an end, the best players get invited to the draft event where they are chosen by an NHL team. Once a player is drafted, he attends development camps. Here, he can display his skills and the coach can analyze if the player is ready for the NHL. When a player has developed enough, a team can offer him a contract. This means that the team decides when and where he plays in the NHL. The scouts' rankings can indicate a player's chances of getting drafted. But Philip tries not to think about the statistics too much. I'm ranking 100, 106 now in Europe. Uh, there's an opportunity I don't will get drafted. So I don't look at the, at the stats, because that's a thing I can't control and I need only to focus on those things I can control. Olaf Eller coaches the Danish U-20 national team. Philip joined the team last year and Coach Eller sees potential in him. Philip is a physical player. He's a hard-working guy. He's a mental uh, strong guy. He's a guy who leads the team, by example, on the ice. And he's a guy who leads the team off the ice. For him to take in the next steps, it depends on how much he want to pay for it. Eller even believes that Philip can make it to the NHL. But he still needs to improve his skating. He, he is very good on small areas, but his high speed on longer distances and his quick feet on small distances has to be better. All here is clean, but not here. <laughs> Most of Philip's family is interested in ice hockey, so he was presented to the sport at a young age. I think this is my first jersey ever with my own name on. Uh, that's pretty fun, I have this. <laughs> Hopefully I, I one day can give it to my child, maybe. And as a talented player, Philip has collected his share of trophies. But this is for the best player. I was this year in Buffalo. And then I was the double on the age, my first, first World Juniors ever. I have some pucks for 25 games from the junior national teams. And here I have the puck for the first goal. I scored when the, with the senior team last season, when I came up. Uh, I still remember that goal and I think I'm the guy who has seen the video with the goal most times. Many of our friends, they just think, why do you spend so many times in the hockey arena? And it just, we support our kids. But I remember one time so I was pregnant with the Philip's younger sister, and I think I was seven or eight months. So I had a big stomach, and I was still going to the hockey because he was playing. Philip dedicates his life to hockey, and every step of the way, his family has supported him. We have always been. Uh, 
all the whole family to see his game and that's how we do it in this family we support each other so his youngest brother and sister have been very patient and uh, yeah there have been some vacations that have been cancelled because Philip was going on a trip or we have been in Sweden one summer because he was going on a hockey camp um, yeah so Sometimes it could be hard. While Philip is really focused on playing in the NHL, not many Danish players get to. A reason why could be that ice hockey is a small sport in Denmark, with less than 5,000 registered members in the Danish Ice Hockey Union. Since 1963, a total of 23 Danes have been drafted to the NHL. Usually one or two Danish players are drafted each year, Sometimes no players from Denmark get drafted, but once in 2016, three players made it through. This season, a total of seven Danish hockey players played in the NHL. It's the World Championships, and Philip is here to watch Denmark play South Korea. Seeing the professionals reminds him of what he can achieve. Oh, I would love to play here at myself. Uh, there's so many fans. Uh, I've tried it once uh, against Canada at the World Juniors uh, with so many fans. That, yeah, and they scored like, uh, seven times against us. But uh, so we here, we heard the same song seven times where a whole arena screamed. But it was so fun to play here, and it, even better if if it's the Danish fans who uh, who cheers at you, and it will be a dream to play here. He can easily imagine how it would feel to represent his own country. When you go out there and, and listen to all the Danish fans just scream uh, and cheer for you, 100% you got the uh, goosebumps. Working for the NHL Central Scouting, Jesper Schultz ranks the new prospects every year. He also ranked Philip. You know, he can work uh, both ways on the ice, and he is good at setting up people. He's good at finishing. Uh, he, has, he seems to also be able to recognize that this is a team game, and that's not all players at 18 that recognize the team aspect of it, but he seems to be at that point. Jesper has been a scout since 2004 and has followed several players from prospect to professional. With Philip, I see a lot of potential for developing things uh, that he's not that strong at right now, but uh, that he will be strong at. His technical skating is maybe a little bit below average or at least below his average. He ranked Philip 106th on the European prospects list. And that makes Philip the highest ranked Danish NHL prospect. Yeah, I think Philip will, will be drafted. Uh, I think he did enough both on uh, the junior 20 scale and the junior 18 scale. And plus, he's been playing a whole season in the Danish league, so he has a lot of, uh, of good potential. So here's the checkbox in the end. Does the prospect have a long stride? Does, the, does he exhibit leg strength and power? Can he move laterally? Can he skate fast with the puck? Can he skate fast without the puck? Can his quickness create space? Does he bend his knees? Does he have a good balance? <laughs> Even with a hockey scout's prediction, Philip doesn't feel certain that he will be drafted. I still need to to get like drafted by an NHL team, and before they will say anything, I just need to think like I always have. <laughs> Hopefully, I get drafted, but I will not be disappointed if I not will be drafted. Uh, there's so many good players, 
but it's always it's a dream. So it will be pretty nice if if it will come true. Floyd, så starter I med pucken de tre første, og det er bare ind her, tre mænd på linje. Olaf Eller has almost 30 years of experience as a coach, and he's always happy to see promising talents like Philip. I do hope that he uh, one day, not tomorrow, but one day will play in NHL. I am sure that it's what he's hoping for. He's uh, like any other guys in at that age, he has a long way to go, but it's possible. It's the end of May, and the draft is not for another month. Philip can't wait to find out if he will be drafted. I think about it every day, maybe, um, and count days down. In the meantime, he will continue to practice on the ice. Oh, I'll be so happy uh, if I got drafted. That's like my dream to get drafted. That's not the goal. You're not finished when you get drafted. But that's like a shoulder clap to you. You have done something right right now. Keep doing that. <laughs>